So let's put into action what we learned about in the previous video and group our selectors that have shared styles and use the cascade to define unique styles. I'm inside our app.css of our Quill project. And the first thing I'm going to do is group our headings at the top here as they have a lot of shared styles. I'm then going to go grab all the shared styles between all the headings. Font weight's one of them. Line height. Letter spacing. Font family. And color. I'm now going to go delete the shared styles from each heading. So I can remove the font weight, the line height, letter spacing, font family, and color. And what I'm left with is the unique styling rules for the H1. And again, the way this works is we're using the cascade to our advantage, where the H1 will initially have all these styles, and then as we move down the sheet, these styles are added. Now to avoid boring you, I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the shared styles from all the headings. All right, so let's see what we're left with. We're left with all our shared styles here, and then only a few rules defined on each heading. So all the repetitive properties have been removed, leaving us with much more concise and clean CSS code. I'm going to do the same thing for our paragraph and anchor tags, because there are a few shared styles there as well. The font weight is the same. The line height is the same. The font family is the same. And the color is also the same. So in the paragraph, I can remove those shared styles, and I'm just left with the font size of 20 pixels. In the anchor tag, I'm going to remove the font weight. We're going to keep text decoration because that is unique to the anchor tag. The line height I'll remove because that's shared. Font size is unique to the anchor tag. And these two properties are shared, so I can remove those. So once again, we've cleaned up our code. We have removed repeated styles, and our CSS code is more concise and clean. Now, something you may be wondering is that even within our group selectors for paragraph and anchor tags, and all our headings, there are still shared styles here. For example, the font family is the same in our headings and our paragraph and anchor tags. Essentially, we want to apply the font family to every element. And in a few videos time, we will be seeing how we can do that, making our CSS code even more concise. You're smashing it. Click here to move on to the next video on the playlist and click here to subscribe to the channel to get updates on new releases.